Hey everybody, Mr. Dave here. Welcome back to the Buckland Public Library in Buckland, Massachusetts. We've got a mysterious show for you today, but why don't we get started with a song with FJ? Hi, I'm FJ. I'm going to be playing a song with Mr. Dave. You are my sunshine. Isn't that cool? This is called a magnifying glass, and it's used to make small things look really big. Let me show you what I mean. This is an American quarter. It's worth 25 cents here in the USA. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like really big. Check this out. Whoa, look at all that detail you can see because of the magnifying glass. Let's try something else. Here's one of my favorite things ever. It's a yo-yo. Now let's see what the yo-yo looks like under the magnifying glass. Wow. Look at all that detail. Isn't that cool? Look how much bigger it looks. Under the magnifying glass. To magnify something means make it bigger. When you're looking at something through one side, because these lenses here are bubbling out or convex, they bend the light to make it look like it's bigger. So the light from what you see is coming in this way and then it's spreading out bigger this way. Isn't that cool? I love magnifying glasses. You can have a lot of fun with a magnifying glass walking around looking at things like bugs or plants or even drawing with crayons, you can see all the little bumps of the wax. It's really cool. If you've got a magnifying glass, why don't you take it out and see what you can find out there in the world and check out all that really cool detail that you can only see with a magnifying glass. <laughs> And welcome to the theater. <laughs> Today we have a mystery. Mm, yes. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Once upon a time, Eldun could not find his teddy bear, and because he loves his teddy bear so much, he has been very upset. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh. Hey, Eldun. Oh, hey, Blue. You look upset. What's wrong? I, I can't find Greebly. I'm sorry. Greebly is my very bestest, most special friend. Um, does he live in town? Oh, of course he does. Oh, well, where? Maybe he'll be there. He lives on my bed, and he isn't there. He, he lives on your bed? Yes! Right next to my pillow! He lives on your bed next to your pillow. Yes! Wow. Do you charge him rent? No. Why would I... Wait. He's my teddy bear! Oh! Oh, that makes so much more sense. <sighs> so, what happened? I don't know. He just disappeared! Teddy bears don't just disappear, Eldoon. Let's think this through. 
Where was the last place you had him? Well, I was at the park playing my banjo lila for Greedy. He's my biggest fan. When we saw a squirrel run across the field. And of course I had to chase after it. So I ran after the squirrel, leaving Greedy to ponder his existential quandaries that a teddy bear faces each day. However, when I returned from my chase, Greedy was gone! And now I can't find him anywhere! <laughs> That is odd. But tell you what, I'll help you find Greebly. You, you will? Yeah, of course. Now, why don't we start at the park and we can look for clues? Clues? Clues in this... In this case, are things that we can find to solve the mystery. Mystery? Yes, it's a mystery. It mystery. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So, Eldoon and Blue set off to solve the mystery of the missing Greebly. They went straight to the park and back to where Eldoon played his banjo lele. Okay, this is where we were when it happened. I can see that. There's a teddy bear print in the mud over there. I know. I was so eager to start playing, I didn't see the mud till after I put him in it. I figured it was too late, and I was going to have to clean him no matter what. So, I just left him there and started playing. He said he liked the squishy feeling anyway. Ew. And then... Squirrel! Yes, I remember. You saw the squirrel and ran after it. No, no, that's the squirrel. Maybe if I catch it, it can tell me what happened. Come on, come on, let's go. No, no, stop, stop. What? I think we've had enough squirrel today. Aww. Besides, I think I found a clue. A clue? Yes, a clue. What is that? Look there, just past the bear print in the mud. Aha! More mud! Yes, but that's not the clue. It's not the mud? No, it's in the mud. Aha! I don't get it. Look, there's another shape in the mud behind the bear print. Aha! What is it? It's a shoe print. But Gribble doesn't wear shoes. No, but the person who took Gribble does. Took? Took Gribble? Yes, Eldoon took Greebly. And look, there is a path of mud footprints heading that way. No! Yes! We have found our next clue. What is that? We need to follow the muddy footprints and find the shoe. But shoes can't take teddy bears. No. The person wearing the shoe took him. Ah! You know, you're really good at this. I like to read mystery books. Ooh, I want to read a mystery book. Where can I get one? You can get all kinds of great books at your local library. The game is afoot. I'm probably terrified. Uh, come on. You know, you really need to start reading some Sherlock Holmes. Okay. So off the duo of detectives went, following the newest clue. <laughs> what is that? <sighs> oh well. Off they went after the owner of the recently muddied shoe, and possibly the perpetrator who pilfered the petite plush. I found it! I found it! I found the muddy shoe! Um... Eldoon? Is this it? Is this our next clue? Oh, Gary! You won't believe this! I was playing banjo lily at the park for Greebly, and someone took him! And I chased after a squirrel, and Blue helped me find those muddy footprints of the person who took my teddy bear, and we followed them, and I just found the shoe that the muddy person prints belong to! It was you!
Okay, who's ready for a reasonable explanation? I am. Please. I was feeling slightly less grumpy today. My coffee was extra good this morning. So, I decided I'd take a walk to the park. When I got there, I saw poor Gravely sitting alone in all the mud, and I knew that if he wasn't cleaned off soon, his fur would become irretrievably stained. You did that for me? Of course! You're my friend. And I know how much you love Gravely, and I know you'd be upset if he were stained. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but I was in a bit of a rush. I, I was upset. I thought he was gone forever. I'm very glad I got a bath, though. And I'm very glad that my friends helped me out with this mystery. And I am most glad that I have Groobly back. <laughs> Thank you so much, friends. I'm happy I could help Eldoon. And it was fun to be a detective and follow the clues. What is that? Now that the mystery is solved, the four friends all went downtown and had a cup of coffee at Mr. Dave's diner. And Eldoon learned that when something goes missing, it's best to stay calm and get some help and look for the clues. <laughs> I'll just see myself out. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous. Now, where's my teddy bear? Hmm. What a great mystery. I'm so glad that Eldoon found Gribly, and I'm really glad that his friends helped him find him. Well, I hope you guys had fun today. I know I sure did. And now, I've got one more song for you. My favorite way to say goodbye is not goodbye to you. Not adios, arrivederci, sayonara, or adieu. My favorite way to say goodbye, the best way that I knew. My favorite way to say goodbye is to say that I love you. See you next time, guys. Welcome back to the Buckland Public Library in Buckland, Fa in Buckland, Massachusetts. Okay, let's try that again. This is where I started. That was good. Clue. Clues. 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 A magnifying glass. <laughs>